Hello, beautiful people. Uh, no, I know it's been a while, but hey, I'm trying to hit 380 this week. Back on the videos, man. It's been a lot going on, but uh, I'm back, man. So, um, yeah, if you watched WrestleMania last night, um, you probably most likely as disappointed as I am. I'm very disappointed. Uh, th this is going to be a different video from what you've seen of me in the past. Like, this is... um. This is just me venting, man. Um, I, I think let's start off with just a WrestleMania review. Uh, weekend one, great, man. Um, I I didn't like that John Cena in theory didn't go um didn't go too long, but you know what? They got the job done. Austin Theory he showed a scrappiness that maybe they can build upon. And yeah, I I think. It was great that John Cena put him over. I think a lot of us were maybe predicting that John might win, and you know, actually may win. But we knew it was a we. You kind of knew it was a long shot. You know, John got a lot going on. John, you know, he's kind of moving on to the next phase in his career, in his life, I should say. Uh, so Austin Theory gets the win there, no problem there. The men's uh showcase WrestleMania showcase match, excellent. I even down to the the winner. I love that the winner won because um, we all know Montez Ford is gonna get a a, a a push, and maybe because he's from Cincinnati, so I have a sort of a, a emotional attachment to him. But I just don't want Angelo Dawkins to get left behind. He is a great talent as well, so I love that they won. Uh, Gable was able to show off his his talent. That rolling suplex to Braun Strowman was great. Um, yeah, I, I think Braun and, you know, uh, Ricochet got their moments. Viking Raiders, I believe, was also in that match. Got their moments. Everybody got their moments. A-plus match. That's two A. Uh, I wouldn't say the first match was an A-plus, but the, the way that it needed to go, perfect. Um, I don't really remember what happened after that. What matches was next? Um, what what other matches were there? I'll just talk about what I remember. Uh, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair could arguably be called match of the night, man. I'm at the grocery store watching this, like, and it's not because it's women. I'm taking a break. You know, I just had things to do, but I made sure I watched that match. Tore the roof off the place. Um, great. Great match, great match. Even the botches were great. Like I, I, I believe when uh, that German suplex, Charlotte Flair landed on her face. I believe that was a botch, but even that was great. Rhea Ripley is going to be a star. She's going to be a superstar. They just got to keep building around her. Not have her the next Roman Reigns. We don't need a new Roman Reigns. We just have to have a dynamic heel. We need to have someone. Even if they continue to have her as a heel. Just keep her, just keep her, uh, you know, she's a great actor. She, her emotions are great. She's a great worker, if that's a word. But she's great, man. She's great. Just keep going with her. A-plus match. Uh, I believe, um, I think the next thing, I, 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 the only thing I can remember next is, um, oh, Logan Paul and Seth Rollins. Great match as well. We all knew that that was gonna be a great match. Um, I do believe Logan Paul will be back. His contract expired. Um, yeah, I, I'm not too keen. I, I'm, um, Seth Rollins is a great talent, but I think this is his pocket. Like, can he win a few world championships? Yeah. Can he have a few good reigns with it? Yeah. But, but more than this. Like having put in on having the maybe the match of the event, he hasn't shown me outside of anything of that that he can go past that. This is his pocket, not celebrity matches per se, but having potentially the match of the event with Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, yada yada yada. Nothing about his character has shown me that it should be more than that. You know what I mean? Like, like let's think about it. And I'm only saying this because of the way he's been talking. You know, he said he won't ro Roman Reigns next WrestleMania. He said that he should be in the spot that Cody Rhodes is in. Don't like it. I I I think he's a hypocrite. 
Yeah, I'm starting to fall out of favor with Seth Rollins. I am. I mean, I, I just ain't. I am. Um, but yeah, again, can he have a few Royal Championship reigns? Yeah, but I think I, I think more than that. I don't think we're gonna get more than that. Cause like, all right, again, even when he faced Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble last year, if he would have won, would that really have been a satisfying ending to all of this? Anyway. So, uh, yeah, we go down to the tag team title match. I may be forgetting something. Please forgive me if I do, if I did forget a match. Um, Because I'm really just building this all to get to last night's main event. Uh, uh, I almost called him Sammy Uso. Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Usos. Spectacular match. They justify being a main event, even though you could argue that the Charlotte Flair and uh, Rhea Ripley match was better. They justified them being the main event, especially having a happy ending uh, to a story that's been going on for two plus years. Even with Kevin Owens, because Kevin Owens was really Roman Reigns' second big, biggest rival next to Jey Uso. So the two people who's been the main head, the main figures of the main rivals of Roman Reigns competing in a match and continuing the story. The storytelling in this match was great. The uh, Sammy Uso, he's batting a thousand. I love it. Jay Uso and Jimmy has has improved so much just from those guys who were wearing face paint and the hard in the paint stuff. Just another tag team. They're not just another, they transcend being a tag team. Like they're far and above WWE's tag team division, and I know I'm kind of contradicting myself with the praise that I gave the tag team match but the way that WWE has been treating their tag teams the Usos have transcended that and I think unfortunately it was the right call to um it was the right call to give Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn the titles uh but in a, a weird world it would have been a right it would have been a right thing to do to make to reestablish the tag team division to give someone in the tag team division that win, such as the Street Profits, such as um, Chad Gable and uh, Otis, even though they probably won't last too much longer. Um, someone we know is going to be in a tag team division for a long, a very long time. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, we're either expecting Kevin Owens to turn on them or, some, or whenever they lose the titles, they're just going to split apart. They're not going to be in a tag team division for the rest of their, their careers. So, um, yeah, I, I think this was great. It should be the ending of the Sami Zayn and Bloodline story. And okay, and I'm just gonna mix this in with the main event as a pre, like as a pre or how I feel. You don't need the Bloodline to tell a compelling story. Sami Zayn on his own can have a compelling story with a Baron Corbin, a Bronson Reed, a Johnny Gargano, or a Miz, anyone. Kevin Owens can have a compelling story with anyone. The Usos can have a, their own compelling story with anyone. You don't just need the bloodline to have a compelling story. Okay, so now let's move into night two. Who was the opener to uh, night two? Brock and Almost hated this. I hated this because... We all know Brock doesn't have much time left. Put Omos over. Omos hasn't beat anyone except maybe AJ Styles. He lost to Brock. He lost to Brock. He lost to Bobby's. He I don't know who has he beat. That wasn't on Monday Night Raw. He needed this win. Uh the next match. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Jesus. Now you're you're kind of you're t- you're, you're kind of getting my like I'm I'm not even at the main event yet and I'm already pissed off. The tag the women's showcase match was awful. I'm sorry. Like uh, I I I don't want it to be all about how you close, but unfortunately that is going to be a running theme with uh night 2. The the women's showcase match was awful. Why did Ronda win? <laughs> Why is it because she's the biggest star? It's awful, man. It's just, uh, it, 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 it's really a slap in the face. And again, remember how I feel about this match because it goes into the main event. Uh, the next match that I can remember, 
um, the Intercontinental. Ma- oh my God, this was the damn near saved him night. If this would have went on last, it would have saved the night, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Um, yeah, them boys went crazy, man. Them boys went crazy. Um, yeah, the man, the, like uh, Gunther. Uh, I'm so happy for him. Like I, I haven't been following his story for a very long time, but I know he was very hyped and. People felt bad for him when his name went from Walter to Gunther. And it hasn't hurt him at all. It hasn't hurt him at all. Uh, he got his crew back. Uh, although I don't like the guy who would be doing the, the announcement. His voice is kind of, like, not his voice, but just the way his delivery is kind of weird to me. But, hey, he got his boys. I don't like what they did with the Braun Strowman thing, having him, like, afraid of Braun Strowman. But he's been he's been bulletproof, man, and... Literally, in this match, he had to be bulletproof because they was throwing some shots, man. Uh, Sheamus, it's a shame that he didn't get his, um, <laughs> it's a shameful thing. <laughs> um, but it's a shame that he didn't get his moment, but we also understand why he didn't get his moment. Unlike the main event, we understand why the face didn't get his moment. Uh, he, he he showed out, man. And then the, the elephant in the room, Drew McIntyre, I hope it's not true, but uh, it don't seem like he's going to be in WWE much longer. His contract is expiring, and apparently they're not even close to agreeing on a deal. Uh, maybe they don't see him as worth what he think he's worth. And all I got to say is, if Drew McIntyre goes to AEW, whew, they might get me back at AEW, man. Like, I, I love CM Punk, but I'm sorry, bro. I want to see Drew. I, I, I want to see Drew treated like a top star. I want to see that want to see it but again a plus match probably match of the event as in night one and night two it depends on how you feel um yeah that was great now the uh the the damn hell in the cell man um this was this was bad like no the, the, the hell in the cell was great the match was great but just the wrong winner Again, with Brock Lesnar, Edge is retiring soon. And, and, and let me let me know what you guys think about this. Edge hasn't put over one single person. Who has he put over since becoming since coming back? He beat AJ Styles. He beat the Miz. He beat Seth Rollins. Although Seth did get a win over him. He won. He he. Seth lost a few. Although Finn Balor and the Judgment Day did get a win over him, he just came back and beat them all. He beat Dominic, I believe, or did that end in disqualification. I don't know. Dominic ain't get the win. Then he beats Finn. Edge hasn't put over a single person since he's been back. Maybe Randy Orton, but Randy Orton doesn't need a win. He doesn't need a win over Edge. Finn Balor does. The Miz does. Maybe maybe not The Miz. Maybe not The Miz. I'll give you that. Maybe not The Miz. But at this point, Seth does. Especially now at this point. Uh, AJ Styles does. And I feel so bad for AJ Styles. He's missing this event. But was there even a spot for him? Um, who else? Who 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 else has he? He's been dealing with the Judgment Day for about a year now. Did Damian Priest get a win over him? If I if I I don't remember, but if that's the case, then uh, whatever. But that's one person. Finn Balor needed this win. Uh, I know he said he doesn't want to be the demon anymore, so maybe this was their way of killing the demon. But he said that like what two three years ago. If anything, Roman Reigns killed the demon. Ugh. Uh, but this was, I think it was just the wrong winner. And if you see like what Finn Balor, Finn Balor is like, man, he's gained so much respect from me because he didn't have to do what he did. Although it was WrestleMania, you know, you want to give a bro. This man has a a, a gash so f- like if you haven't seen the picture, just go on Twitter and look up Finn Balor. You won't miss it. His head looks like a, a a zipper to a fanny pack right now. His head got cut open from this ladder spot. 
Uh, maybe it was a receipt from Edge because Finn was throwing chairs at Edge's head. <laughs> so uh, Edge threw a ladder at his head. I don't blame Edge for that. I just blame Edge for not losing. Um, but, yeah, I think I think Edge should have lost this one. He doesn't have much time left. Put somebody over, man. Put somebody over. Anybody. Um, I guess Roman Reigns. But, again, he Roman didn't need – that he didn't need that and even when he did beat him it was because seth rollins it was because jay uso so again that i'll get into that in my in the main event review um yeah i think yeah I, finn balor man he, what a talent what a talent i hope he gets another chance at the world title but who well who will man who, who, like, at this point, Roman has almost been champion for longer than The Rock's been wrestling or for The Rock's initial run. Like, that is ridiculous, man. Nobody needs to be champion for three years. But anyway, um, next match, I believe, was – I don't think it was the next match, but I know one match. I know a lot of people were upset with this, but Asuka and Bianca – I don't have a problem with the winner here. I love the match. I love the ending. I love Bianca's entrance. I love Oscar's entrance. Uh, Bianca, I don't want to say she needed the win. She didn't necessarily need the win, but I'm happy she won. She doesn't have a reign of terror. She wins clean. She looks strong. She make her opponents look strong. Oscar doesn't look bad by not winning. Um, and if Oscar were to win at Backlash, I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. I do I do not like the fact that Oscar is 0-5 at WrestleMania. I believe that's the statistic. I know she hasn't won at WrestleMania. I don't like that fact, but we're building a star here with Bianca. We're building a star here. She can be the, if not the John Cena, like she could be the LeBron of the, the if what LeBron is to the NBA, Bianca can be to the women's division, and not in a Charlotte Flair way where she's just always winning the title, but she can be that spot like how Undertaker had. Like if you were in wrestling for either of the world championships, Undertaker's match at WrestleMania was like a third championship match. So I think Bianca could be that, and not just WrestleMania. But at any premium live event, because she is that good. She's great. She she like not to say that Charlotte Flair doesn't deserve her uh the 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 aura around her name because she's a great talent as well. But Bianca, like Bianca has a way of winning and not making the other person look bad. I don't go from I don't leave this match thinking Oscar is bad. I don't like I don't leave this match thinking they killed her run. I don't personally. So, I think again, I would not be surprised if Oscar comes back and win. So, that's my thoughts on this uh match. Now, uh the I'll just touch on the Bobby Lashley and Bray Wyatt situation briefly. I didn't I thought when Bobby Lashley came out, I thought this the whole weekend I'm thinking, all right, Bobby Lashley is going to come out to celebrate his whatever. Then that's when Bray Wyatt comes out. I don't know what's going on with Bray Wyatt. I have not been making videos on it. I haven't been making videos on anything, so y'all don't know how I feel about it. But I know if you know, if you watch my reaction to his return, he's one of my favorite wrestlers. And I'm on the fence of if the rumors are true that he just didn't want to bring back The Fiend, then I'm very disappointed in Bray Wyatt. You built an over character. It was mishandled by the previous regime. You came back. I understand that they may have promised you something, but you cost this man a a WrestleMania spot. If the plan was for Brock Lesnar to just destroy you at WrestleMania, why couldn't Bobby? Why couldn't Bobby do that? And then with Bray Wyatt, you teasing the fans at the – 
you know, when they met you, when they seen you in the car talking about night two was your WrestleMania, what was that? Did plans change? I don't know, but at a certain point, you can't be this mysterious. At a certain point, the mysterious bullshit just is not cool. And it's a slap in the face to the fans. It can't, At a certain point, it is. Now, again, I'm prefacing that way, assuming that there was just created diff differences and Bray just didn't want to play ball with them. And you know what? It, it it sucks, but Bobby Bobby is a big enough star. Well, I know if they say they owe him one, they'll give him one. I think he has another world title in him. I think, you know, he, he has some great matches in him. They kind of screwed him over here. I see no reason why Omos couldn't – that couldn't have been Bobby in that match. I don't I don't know, man. Uh, it's very disappointing. And then not even have an L.A. night if anybody have a quick match with him. You know, maybe I, I maybe destroying L.A. night in five minutes, like having Bobby destroy L.A. night in five minutes wouldn't be good business. But I don't know. Could you imagine Stone Cold and L.A. night having a promo of, though? Like a yeah, what? Yeah, what? Like he could have did something, man. I know it was – like Steve Austin doesn't have to be a champ. I mean, he doesn't have to have a match to have a great segment, have a great impact on the card. But yeah, that's that's man. It's 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 night two was really disappointing, man. Uh, so let's get into the main event. Um, it broke my heart. Night two broke my damn heart, man. Um. I'll just get straight to it. I thought we all thought Cody was should have won. We all thought he was going to win. He should have won. Uh, let's just talk about the ending. Um, Solo Sokoa gets booted out of there as he should. Uh, okay. That's when I'm thinking, like, all right. That's when you're thinking, like, okay, it's a new thing. Because the, the common trait with – 75% of Roman's matches since he's been champion has been a, a, a bloodline member interferes or someone interferes and Roman just takes advantage. Same old shit. So, okay. Solo gets booted. Great match goes on. Eventually the Usos come out. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn fights him out of there. They stun and Huluva kick Roman. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what like just for him to still win jesus christ man all right so then we get to the end of the match uh cody gets um he does the he was on the verge of doing a three crossroads he does two of them and then uh paul Heyman's distract the ref then solo gives him the samoan spike <sighs> then roman no sells two crossroads to hit a spear one, two, three, Roman wins. And um, I'm just going to look at this in three different ways. Let's think of the three different ways. The three different reasons. I, th I think it's more, but I, from mine, there's three reasons why people said that Roman should have won. One, the thousand days thing. Two, Cody needed a loss. <laughs> and three... Uh, the story isn't over yet. We got to be patient. One, the thousand days thing. I get it. It's a quote unquote once in a lifetime thing that may not happen again. Bro, it's just a fucking milestone. We know that those thousand days that Hulk Hogan, Bruno San Martino, uh, et cetera, et cetera, held the championship is inflated, bro. They weren't defending the title that much. And I still say that CM Punk 434-day reign is better than Brock Lesnar's reign, is better than Roman Reigns' reign, is better than Hulk Hogan, is it better than Because he defended the title much more than all of those dudes combined, bro. And I'm, 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 I swear to God that I'm just guessing that, but it's probably true. I believe the number was 188 times. Romans only at like 44. He's held the title since I was 19. 
I'm 22 years old. Nobody should hold a championship for a thousand days. Why does he have to hold the title for it? We get it, bro. Nothing is going to happen in the next 60 something days to justify him holding the title for a thousand days. Nobody cares that much. A thousand days. Bro, even then, it's just, it's, it's a baseless trophy. He's not beating anybody strong except John Cena who's went over, like, who just, that match sucked. Think about any clean win that he's had. I think he had a clean win against Cesaro, so I'll take that out. And I think he had a clean win against Daniel Bryan. And if there's anybody else, please, like, like correct me on that. The, the, the When he won a title... He came out la like he came out after like he came out after the damage was already done to the fiend and Braun Strowman and just won. Great heel move, so creative. Like I, I, I it's not super creative, but for WWE standards, it's fucking creative. It's great. It's like I loved it. It's it was creative. It was like I'd never seen like that was a a smart heel tactic. Why don't more people do that? Come out after the. The two competitors, like, beat each other up so much that you could just come in and eat the scraps. Super creative. Loved it. Um. Then you got the Jey Uso feud. I don't remember him beating, like, Jey U- He. I don't remember the first match, but I know the, 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 the first match was the I Quit match, I believe. And he had Jimmy say, like, he he was about, like, that was creative. I have no problem with that. Roman Reigns was crying in the ring. I have no problem with that. Creative ending. The Jey Uso, both matches had a creative ending for what I remember. Um, And then we started to get into the Kevin Owens' matches. Paul Heyman interference or Jey Uso interference. It's like, ugh. Then you got the WrestleMania match. Jey Uso interference. Ugh. I believe he beat Rey Mysterio clean. But who doesn't at this point? He didn't beat Edge clean. Seth Rollins interfered. I believe Jey Uso interfered too. But for sure, Seth Rollins interfered. John Cena match. That match sucked. It was a classic John Cena match in reverse. The heel whooped. John Cena whooped his ass in the entire match. He took one spear and it was over. That match sucked. The Brock Lesnar match. I don't know which match I'm talking about, but they all ended in some screwy fashion. Uh, Interference. But you would think at this point somebody would be like, damn. I should probably do something about them niggas outside the ring because they just keep costing niggas matches. I should probably do something about that. But nah, niggas just keep thinking that, oh, so Solo and Paul Heyman are out there? This shouldn't be a problem. What the fuck, bro? And that's my problem with WWE. They don't know how to book faces. But okay, uh, my back to the point. Uh, second, The second point people were trying to cope with that Cody Rhodes should have lost. Because he had a, had a big loss. Bro, this nigga was stardust for two fucking years, bro. The nigga was stardust. Had to go build his own company to become a star. And in that company, he got booed out of it. He got booed out of his own company. Come here. Have three great matches back to back to back. Just to tear his peck. Just to tear his peck. Go out for about eight months, win the Royal Rumble, and lose in the same fashion that the other motherfuckers lost in. He had losses. Stardust was a loss. Coming out as Stardust after his father died was a loss. He lost to Stephen Amell. The AEW thing was an L. He got booed out of his own company. That's a loss. 
Torres Peck at the peak of his career. That's an L. And yes, we do know now it's the peak of his career because he lost last night. Last night was supposed to be his crowning moment. Last night was supposed to be the crowning of the next John Cena. The next big face. But WWE doesn't know how to book faces. They suck. <laughs> they absolutely suck at this shit. Whether you look at Roman Reigns as a face, Dean Ambrose as a face, Seth Rollins as a face, and that's just the Shield members. Baron Corbin should have turned and faced a long time ago. Ricochet, they don't know how to book him. Shinsuke, they don't know how to book him. You peep Shinsuke has the most success in his career when he's a heel because they don't know how to book faces. Who was the last great face champion? Drew McIntyre? No. His reign was okay, but even then it was in a pandemic, so we couldn't even really enjoy it. Who had the last great face championship run? Because before Drew McIntyre, it was Brock Lesnar who won it from Kofi Kingston. That reign was awful because they didn't know how to book a face. AJ Styles, who held it, who because Kofi won it from Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan won it. Turning heel on AJ Styles. AJ Styles held it for a year, and that run was terrible. It wasn't terrible. I won't say that. But it was disappointing. It was disappointing. And then AJ Styles won it from Jinder Mahal, who had a better run than... Uh, no, nah, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. But Jinder Mahal won it from Randy Orton. I mean, yeah, Randy Orton, who won it from... And that reign lasted a couple months. It lasted, it lasted a couple months. He won it from Bray Wyatt, who held it for a month because he was going to be a face. He was like, the crowd was cheering for him so much, he couldn't get booed kicking a dog. John Cena, before that, held it for a month or so. Then AJ Styles had his best championship run as a heel. Dean Ambrose had a bad reign. And I'm just going through the list of WWE championships. But again, who has had a good face championship run because they don't know how to book faces because they miss opportunities like last night. They will never get that moment back again. They will have to emasculate Cody Rhodes for a comeback story. There is no, this was his comeback story. This was his comeback story. What are y'all talking about? They try to compare it to John Cena. No, it is not like John Cena. John Cena was never stardust. John Cena never had to build his own company just to get over. This is not a comeback story. And even then, people hated the match. People hated WrestleMania 29. So why are we excited for a rematch? I'm not. Cody could win the title tomorrow and it will mean nothing because it sucked, bro. It sucked. The ending sucked. If he would have lost in a creative way, you know what? Y'all got it. But for him to lose the same way that the other people lost, that was fucking stupid. The only thing that will save this for me is if it comes out that Vince McMahon booked it. If Vince McMahon booked it, you know what? That's on me for even having expectations. But if Triple H booked this bullshit, I'm sorry, bro. I, I can't. I just can't have faith in this stuff anymore. Because when it comes down to the, the things that we want, it all ends up in the same way. Disappointing. Kofi, Kofi mania. Disappointing. Cody mania. Disappointing. Because we tailored our expectations, I have at least. I'm not expecting a great face title ring anymore, but at least have the buildup great. The buildup was great, but just got to pay it off, and you didn't pay it off. Kofi Mania, I'm just glad we got the WrestleMania 35 moment. I'm just glad we got that. Daniel Bryan, I'm just glad we got the WrestleMania 30 moment. He couldn't even get his moment, bro. I don't care if he lost the title the next night. At least have him have his moment. I don't care. 
Jesus Christ. Jeez, so the third, this, <laughs> I, I, I guess I've already, the third reason in that, <laughs> that I'm going for 35 minutes now. I guess the next rank, the, the, the next, um, reason in that, uh, the story isn't over yet, bro. It's been three years. Like I said earlier, I was 19 years old when Roman Reigns won the championship. I am 22 years old now, bro. 22 years old now. My little brother wasn't even born yet. He turns three soon, bro. Like at a certain point, get to the chase. Get to the chase. Cut to the chase. What part of the, like, again, what part of the story couldn't be accomplished? Like, what is taking so long? If it's for Jay Uso to dethrone, like, that's, this is the only thing that could save it for me. But even then, if it's for Jay Uso to be the champion, what was the point of him winning last year then? Because it's no story, bro. Y'all just booking alone as y'all go. And you bullshitting. Y'all just going alone as you go. And you know how I know that? Because The Rock was supposed to face Roman. And I damn sure know that. And the, the worst part about it is he doesn't need the championship to tell a story. He doesn't. Now imagine this, Cody wins, and now the bloodline is titleless. Oh, my God. Woo! Woo! Could you imagine that Roman Reigns promo? Oh, my God. Could you imagine him just chewing out the, the Usos for losing and not having his back? What story? Is Jay Uso going to get kicked out of the, the, the bloodline? That doesn't make me want to tune in. You're sacrificing so many people who has, like, literally, other than maybe Kevin Owens, but definitely Sami, Sami Zayn has definitely benefited from the Bloodline story. Outside of the Bloodline, the internal Bloodline, Solo, Jay, and Jimmy Uso, Paul Heyman, and Roman Reigns, who has benefited from this story? Who? Other than Sami, other than Solo, other than Jimmy and Jay, other than Roman, and other than Paul Heyman, who has benefited from the Bloodline story? Braun and Bray Wyatt got booted after they lost to Roman. Daniel Bryan isn't here anymore. Cesaro isn't here anymore. Seth Rollins had a con uh, never even got a rematch. He just had a celebrity match. It definitely didn't benefit Seth. He never even got a rematch. He just got beat with a steel chair and we never brought it up again. Rey, Rey Mysterio is bulletproof because he's a Hall of Famer. Like, you could whoop his ass as much. Like, LA Knight got a win over. And I'm not, that's no knock against LA Knight, but LA Knight is beating him clean. No, he didn't beat him clean, but LA Knight is beating him. Who has benefited from losing to, who has benefited from the Bloodline story? I'm okay with a, a three-year... You know what? I'm okay with a, a five-year story. I would be great with a five-year story. Something that I could latch on to. But when the whole company is built around one person, he's not even a full-time member of the company. He's just going to go away for a couple months. I know he's probably booked for backlash, but he's not fucking losing. I'm not, watch, I, I'm not watching that match. Y'all can watch that match. I'm not about to watch the same bullshit again. I'm not excited for it. Even if I do watch it, I'm not excited for it. I'm not excited for it. I know he's not going to win. Uh, let me take it back. Maybe Logan Paul benefited from the bloodline. He, But nothing that match had to do had to do with bloodline story he just benefited from being in a ring with a, a, a star 
This story has benefited no one, and it's been going on for three years. Who has benefited from this story? No one except Sami Zayn. It is a story that it's the same thing that like people complain about with Bray Wyatt that all oh, he ruins people character and stuff like that, which I don't even believe. I don't believe Seth Rollins killed his own character when he was a face because he couldn't stop tweeting. The Miz became a heel again when he faced and we all love heel Miz. We don't like face Miz. Kevin Owens was like, what happened to Kevin Owens after he, nothing, nothing changed with Kevin Owens after he faced the fiend. Daniel Bryan was good after he faced the fiend. He got a haircut. Boo-hoo. John Cena, bulletproof. Who has the Fiend ruined? N absolutely nobody. It gave Finn Balor an excuse to go back to NXT and be better than ever. Randy Orton, bulletproof. And that's not Bray Wyatt's fault. There's a reason he got released for creative differences after the, the Randy Orton feud. He didn't book that shit. He was dealing with losing Luke Harper, a.k.a. John Huber. And I'm almost been ranting for an hour. Who has this bloodline story benefited? And the worst part is, guys, it's going to go on for another four to eight, uh, four to 12 months. He's either losing it at SummerSlam, which I do believe he's losing it at SummerSlam. If The Rock decides he won't. If The Rock doesn't decide he wants to show up. If The Rock shows up, then if The Rock wants a WrestleMania match, I fully believe that they will give him a WrestleMania match for the titles. I 100% believe that. I 100%. If The Rock wants a title match at WrestleMania, he will get it. And it will be against Roman Reigns. Even though the fucking story would be better without the titles. Because you don't need the titles to be the head of the table. So, we got at least another four to 12 months of this story, this dragging story of the, the, the main character just somehow, like, I think it's jumped the shark at, it's jumped the shark at this point. This is the part of the story where the, 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 it just jumps the shark. We're doing the same bullshit every fucking pay-per-view. Premium live event, I'm sorry. But it, it sucks. I'm very disappointed. Like, I, I'm heartbroken. Like, Jesus Christ. To be as shallow to say that Cody Rhodes needed a loss. His whole fucking career up to this point has been nothing but ups and downs. Comeback stories. The last seven years of his life has been a comeback story. And to say that this man needed a loss is ridiculous. To sacrifice somebody's push for a thousand day mark that we know is just inflated. That's not even as good as a, a previous 434 day reign is ridiculous. Name a, name a Roman Reigns match that's better than that's better than uh, CM Punk's with Daniel Bryan. Name one that's been better than the one with Jericho. Hey, you, you, you just can't. Because all the Roman Reigns matches has been the same thing. He beats the person down. He starts talking trash. They make a comeback. Then one of the Bloodline members interrupt. And they cost him the victory. Literally. You can just. It's like a George Lopez episode. He has a conflicting problem with his family. He realized that he, the way he handles it is because of his mother. His mother apologizes. They have a quick joke, and that's the episode. Literally, you can go through all go through all of Roman's matches. 75% of them, 80%, 80 of them ends the same way. Roman beats the person down. <laughs> Roman beats the person down. He talks trash. They make a comeback. He acts all surprised. 
Then a bloodline member interrupts the match, interferes, and he wins. Spear win. Choco win. It's just, it's, it's, it's like, bro, it's been three years at this point, bro. Whatever, if you haven't got to the point of the story yet, <laughs> it's the same problem that people got with Bray Wyatt. If you haven't even got to the point of the story yet, it's just, what, you just going to fast forward four months. He's not going to be here for money in the bank. I'll eat my I'll eat my shorts if he's here for money in the bank. If he's here for the next four pay-per-views, I'll eat my shorts. Because my problem isn't with Roman Reigns specifically. It's the fact that he won't be here. He's not going to be here every week. Cody would. Drew McIntyre would. Sammy would. Kevin Owens would. And I'm okay with having a part-time champion every now and then, but for three years, it's just ridiculous. But that's my uh, overall, honestly, bro, last night really ruined WrestleMania for me. I, I'm i I'm sorry to Bianca and Oscar, who had a great match. I'm sorry to – it. I will say that, it, it, that along with the Bray Wyatt and the Bobby Lash and the L.A. Knight situation ruined WrestleMania for me. I'm sorry to Rhea and Charlotte, who had a barn burner, the Intercontinental match with – Drew, Gunther, and Sheamus. I'm sorry. Uh, the men's showcase match. I'm sorry. John Cena and Theory. I'm sorry. Edge and Finn Balor. I'm sorry. But Sammy and Sammy and the Us- Sammy Kevin and Usos. I'm sorry. I, all of these people made this a great match, but I mean a great event. But really, that took it down. So. Literally, I was at a nine with this the event, but I'm literally at a four. A four out of ten. WrestleMania was a four out of ten. Terrible, man. I'm, I, that ending was just terrible, bro. Like, if Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn would have turned on Cody or something creative, just something creative. If you want to get to a thousand, you got to earn that shit, bro. And I'm not talking about Roman. I'm not talking about kayfabe. I'm talking about WWE. It's not enough to say because I'm going to be the person and be like, yeah, but the rain was not that good as y'all. It's overrated as fuck. We just want to believe it's good because AEW sucks right now because this is the most daring thing that they've tried. And Roman Reigns is a great heel. He is, bro. He's doing the the work of his career. But it just, it doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't do it for me. This this same ending bullshit, it just don't do it for me. They could have, they could have at least been creative with it. <laughs> to to no, no sell this man's finisher. How do you come back from that? I'm not saying he's buried. I'm not saying Cody Rain, uh, C- Cody Reigns, Cody Rose is buried. But I think. He will never be as popular. He will never be. He will never have that moment again. He will never have that shot again. In L.A. Yeah, it's 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 like it's the same thing over again. In a weird way that they. And I'll leave it off on this because at this point, I've been ran for so long. They just pulled a John Cena. You had a moment to make a star, and you went with what was comfortable for you. In the ultimate way, they just pulled a John Cena. And with that, again, WrestleMania was a 4 out of 10 for me. No disrespect to the people who actually had great matches and the results that were great, but... With an ending that disappointing, I just can't, bro. Terrible. But again, um, if you made it through all, if you listen to all this whole thing, I appreciate you. Um, we're trying to hit 380 by the end of the week. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Be beautiful, people. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>